Hey there, everyone. It's Ben here, your favourite critic, back with some piping hot tea to spill. About the royal drama that keeps on giving, so grab your popcorn because we're diving deep into the mess. That is Meghan Markle and how she's turned Prince Harry into a personal puppet buckle-up. This is going to be a wild ride, guys. Now, before we get into the details, let me remind you to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also ring the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all the latest royal news and analysis. You're not going to want to miss what's coming up. So now, I know some of you might be thinking, aren't you being a bit harsh? But let me tell you, the more I dig into the story, the more I'm convinced that Meghan is nothing but a gold-digging, spotlight-hungry Z-lister who managed to wrap a print around her little finger. Now, let's start with the bombshell that's been making huge waves. Prince Harry's buddies are reportedly evolving him like the plague. And why? Because of how Meghan behaves. I mean, can you imagine being so insufferable that your husband's lifelong friends refuse to even visit? That's next level toxic, folks. Now, you might be thinking, oh, but they moved to California. Maybe it's just the distance. Nope. According to royal commentators, it's not the miles that are keeping Harry's pals away. It's the Meghan's difficult personality. Ouch. But wait, it gets even worse, guys. Harry, our once beloved prince, is now refusing to meet up with his old military buddies. Why? Because they're part of the pre-Meghan world. Let that sink in. This woman has managed to isolate Harry from the people who stood by him through thick and thin. Who thought alongside him. Who knew him before he was just Meghan's husband. It's like she's erasing his identity. And let's talk about the pre-Meghan world for a second. You know, the world where Harry was respected as a member of the family. Where he had strong bond with his brother and father. Where he was known for his charity work and military service. That world, apparently Harry now hates to revisit it. Are you kidding me? This is some next level brainwashing here, folks. But it doesn't stop there, guys. Oh, excuse me. Megan's influence has turned Harry into some kind of woke caricature to his old Eton buddies. From a prince who could hang with anyone to a tree hugger who that his conservative friends can't relate to. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but people can change. Maybe Harry's just evolving. Sure, people can change. But do they usually change so drastically that they alienate everyone who ever cared about them? Do they usually change in a way that's conveniently aligning with their spouse's worldview and ambitions? I don't think so, guys. Let's talk about that bombshell memoir spare. Oh, boy, where do we begin with this, guys, with this train wreck? First of all, the title alone is a slap in the face of the royal family. But the content, it's like Meghan whispered in his ear, how can we burn every bridge that we've built so far? How his military friends... The ones who had his back in actual war zones are extremely unhappy with how he portrayed his service. He broke the sacred code of the military community. These are people who live and die by the honour and loyalty. And Harry just threw it all away. And for what a best-selling book and a fat paycheck. In the book, he described killing Taliban fighters as chess pieces taken off the board. This isn't a game. These are real lives, real deaths. But no, he had to go and trivialise it all for shock value. And sales, it's disgusting and reeks of Meghan's influence. The Harry we knew would never have been so callous, so disrespectful to his fellow soldiers and the gravity of war. But hey, why stop alienating your buddies when you can skip out on your oldest friend's wedding? That's right, folks. Hugh Grosvenor, one of Harry's closest friends and the godfather to his son Archie, got married in a lavish ceremony at Chester Cathedral. And where was Harry? Nowhere to be seen. This wasn't just any wedding. It was dubbed the wedding of the year. Prince William was there reportedly as one of the ushers. But Harry and Meghan, M-I-A. And why? Because they knew William would be there. Are you kidding me? They're so caught up in their little feud that they'd miss their dear friends most. Oh, sorry again. Most important day. I'm so tired today. But let's be real here. This has Meghan written all over it, guys. Of course, we can smell it from a mile away. So what do you think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.